Hi, my name is David. I write songs under the name The Beloved. Um, I want to thank you for listening to this and also thank you for listening to the songs I share. God being so good, I have a bunch of songs planned out for the year 2024. And actually in a couple of weeks, um, the first song would be available to listen to. But before, I think I just wanted to take some time out and reflect on the year that was, the year 2023, what it was for me, particularly in terms of music and songwriting. But I think for now, I just want to take some time and reflect on making music last year. Last year for me was my best year writing songs, my best year making music so far. I shut up a post on Instagram about how I'd released like five songs. But then last year alone, kind of like my first song was released in September. Between late September and the end of the year, I'd released about nine or ten songs. Um, so I think last year was a good year. Like it was a really great year for me. So far, it was the greatest year for me so far in terms of songwriting. Um, but just before I hop into building upon that foundation and um, making new music and new stuff, I, I just want to reflect on what I learned, reflect on mistakes I made, reflect on certain struggles I had in terms of writing songs and all of that. Kind of just also be grateful, be grateful. And that's why I started by saying thank you. Thank you for for listening to this. You've made the past few months really, really great. You um, made the, the whole songwriting year for me in 2023 really great. And I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, just before I jump into the new stuff and what's new, I just want to spend some time reflecting on what was in 2023. Yeah. Um, and so for today, the first thing I would, and I'm going to do this as more like a, as like a question and answer thing, um, where I would just pick a question. I have a list of questions I would answer. So this is pre-planned. The first question I would answer would be, so writing songs in 2023, what is the one thing it taught me about life, about God, about even about songwriting? I learned a bunch of stuff in 2023 regarding songwriting. But I think the one thing that stands out for me in 2023 was that God calls us to be stewards of everything he gives us. Stewardship means Showing up and doing the work. Showing up and doing what that demands of you. And I think for me, that's one thing. That's one thing. The biggest thing I learned in 2023. Towards the end of 2023, I released a few songs, right? It all came from like showing up like, God, okay, this is an idea. This is an old song. This is a thought. I'm just going to bring it before you. Do, do with it as you please. I've been writing songs for a while, but I was like in all this while, all this time, I had never given it like the effort it deserves. I'd never treated it as a, as a steward. I never treated it as a ministry. I never treated it as uh, something that I needed to put work in. I needed to take care of. Like you get ideas and then you write something and then you, you stop writing it weeks later or sometime months later, even years later, then you pick it up. And then once that inspirational like season stops, you stop, you don't do anything. And, um, in 2023, I just, it was like a, an awakening, right? I just came to the realization that, um, that isn't how God like wants it to be. I think if we look to the, the the parable of the the talents right god doesn't want us to only receive the talent and take a good care of it when he's in front of us right and when there's inspiration but he needs us to show up he needs us to do the work i think uh, that god gives the gift to do a thing god gives the desire to do that thing he commands us as well to do the thing he gives the strength to do the thing he uses our little efforts in the way he chooses right to towards a particular result he he has determined or he knows would happen but amidst all of this sovereignty and all of this control he calls us to come out he calls us to come 
and put this our little effort on the table at his feet. Come and bring the effort. Come be a good steward. So for me in 2023, I learned that I, I just cannot just sit on my hands and only write songs when I'm inspired. So every songwriter or every creative will tell you that there are songs that they feel is like dictated to them. They just receive it like in full. And there are songs you have to put a little bit more effort into it. I think for me, 2023, I learned that that if I really want to like be a songwriter, I want to grow in the craft of writing songs. There's no place for just sitting down on my hands and waiting for only times I get fully baked song. Right. There's no place for there's a place for that, but that isn't the way. That isn't the way. God calls me or God calls us in in our various endeavors. I think for me, in this case, songwriting. God calls us to show up and be at a place. Sometimes he gives the inspiration to bring us to that place. But at that time he calls us to show up. Because there's inspiration waiting. There's a message waiting at that place. There's something to sing about waiting at that place. But you have to show up. You have to show up. You have to show up. I'm showing up my main different things for different people. But for me, in terms of songwriting, showing up meant fixing a particular time of the day and then showing up sometimes not even having what to write about, right? Not even having an idea to sing about. Picking up a guitar, picking up an instrument, sometimes opening a psalm. No matter what, just show up at that time, at that place. Pick up your pen and your paper. You might not know what you would want to write about, but just show up. Show up, pray, listen, read. And God would lead, like inspirations will come. Sometimes, like you might show and no inspiration comes, right? But that isn't wasted. I think you showing up is the act of stewardship. The truth is, this, I think from like maybe June, July, thereabout, it was setting in, like I began realizing it. So I started writing a lot more than I did over the previous years. But unfortunately, I don't think it really stuck in. I had other issues I was dealing with in 2023 that kind of, got in the way right um but fortunately for me i think um towards the end of the year let's say the last two three months into especially the last month especially in december um and then into this year i've been able to build a habit of like showing up to write something fortunately for me in this moment it's a lot more smooth because i have like a backlog of ideas i have a backlog of ideas and so I want to like clear the pipeline. But also one thing I've, one thing I've noticed was that let's say over the past three, four weeks or five weeks, I haven't just worked on old ideas. Actually, I've actually worked on very few old ideas. When you show up, like the ideas come. That was something I learned in 2023. Just showing up. You might not want to write songs, right? So maybe you might think this is not for you, but I think in every endeavor. So for me during the day, I write code for a living. I build software for a living. And I think at some point last year, I'd, I think I was struggling to show up. But I'd become mundane for a bit. So I'd had, a, I'd had a bit of a struggle. But this attitude of writing songs, I brought it into my work. I can actually notice changes, patterns. I can, I am actually more productive. This act of, like this act of showing up, showing up even when you're not inspired, showing up when you're not feeling it. It's um it's actually not limited to songwriting. I think over the past month and two months, I brought this lesson into my day job, into my writing of code. I can notice a huge difference. I can notice a new, what's the word I would use? Not new passions per se, but new enthusiasm. Yeah, new enthusiasm. Yeah, so even if I'm writing a code that is like so mundane, ah. Uh, rather be writing something complex <laughs> but like when you show up and you begin like begin doing the first part of it and all of that you inspire to continue right you inspire to finish it yeah so i don't think this um, only applies to songwriters so you you might be listening to this and think okay no i'm not interested in songwriting uh i don't do any of that stuff but i think you can still bring this over to aspects of your life just showing up just showing up Showing up and do the work. Sometimes you're not inspired. I want to say inspiration is waiting for you to show up. But sometimes it doesn't even show up, right? I mean, the inspiration doesn't come. But 
showing up, showing up, showing up makes you like creates more avenue for you to be lucky when it's for inspiration to hit you. Um, so thank you once more for um, spending the past few minutes listening to me ramble. <laughs> yeah. So I'm um, over over the over the next few days. I'm hoping to do a few of this. I think just to reflect on what 2023 was for my songwriting, what's for me um, in terms of songwriting and music in general. Thank you once more. Bye.